Well, hello, this is Nafi Sajid, and I'm back with another tutorial of mine. Well, this time I'm going to show you how to uh, create a rainfall deviation map. Well, I won't go that far, but uh, let's just see. Okay, uh, I've got some things uh, already opened here just for convenience, and uh, this is the data I have. Uh, I have three uh, data. Mm. One is a CSV file. Uh, here I have a deviation, well, uh, not deviation. Uh, this is station ID, uh, rainfall average, and recorded rainfall. And another column is for deviation percentage. And this I will have to plot into an arc map, uh, well, arc GIS to make a file uh, a map actually and uh, another thing I have two different shape files one is a point shape file which is the BMD station and next I have the district geo which is the uh, um, shape file for different uh, districts of Bangladesh well uh, now let's go to work and I will add my files actually uh, this is not the one I'm going and now I will add these three here. Okay, now this is the uh, CSV file, and uh, let's open it. And now we will see what we just saw there in the uh, uh, Excel file and here we see everything is null so it's a bit problem and I'll have to solve it next uh, this is the point shape file and the points here you know and this is the shape file for the districts of Bangladesh now what I'll do I'll join it join this to this um, actually let's open the attribute table here we have this um, station names and station IDs uh, which we have here also so we will uh, use this ID for uh, making a common point and uh, joining them uh, and now we will go to join and we will use the table of BMD station CSV and join it with uh, the station ID and here also station ID let's validate it okay now press ok now the attribute table shows that I have joined it and I have the uh, rainfall average and recorded rainfall of each stations here uh, these are uh, recorded in the point shape files uh, each okay now I will have to export this let's export this data to okay, here I'll just copy this and okay now I'll give it a name um, maybe BMD um, station okay. just ST yeah, and press yes okay I have the new shape files and now let's remove this one I'll just go here okay now we see we have a BMD station which is the new shape file of our point shape files and the district geo shape file okay this shape file we have the thing like this and the deviation is uh, not null like seen before now I'll have to add another field and I'll have to mention that the deviation here was calculated in percent and I will have to calculate this in percent so uh, let's calculate this at first go to field calculators press yes okay the deviation should be like this <coughs> I'll select recorded rainfall and uh, subtract rainfall average from this okay and multiply 100 and divided by rainfall average 
to calculate the deviation percentage and well this means that the recorded rainfall and the uh, rainfall average difference and uh, is divided by the rainfall average and is multiplied by 100 which gives us the percentage and we will press ok and this will give us the percentage okay and now these have a point uh, some values after the point so i will have to add another field and give it short integer let's give it um, selected and now I will have to calculate this one as well and I will just select the different uh, deviation percentage is equals to the deviation and uh, that that we calculated before and press ok now remember to keep this uh, is in short integer uh, and this will give a value like this okay now I will have to do the next part now let's go to geoprocessing and press environments here we will go to processing extent and select the same layer as district geo which is this one okay and next i will go to raster analysis and select the mask for district geo okay now next we will go to special analyst tool to do the interpolation and uh, I will select IDW inverse distance weighted method and here we will uh, select the BMD station remember this is the new one new uh, exported layer and okay here I will use the division percentage the last column we created and select output register here select um, and give it name and then save it okay now the number of points I have uh, well let's see here I have 35 that means I have 34 points 34 uh, point files point shape files so we have one shape file and I have 34 different points so here I will just write number of points 34 and well, click ok so this should work let's wait ok it's taking a bit time it's worked fine and now I'll just uh, give this a hollow appearance and this should look like this and the next part will that goes into mapping and you should use it um, your own creativity to map it like this uh, thanks for uh, everything watching I mean and uh, well goodbye